in the kitchen now, not talking about fecal matter, with Chef Pete Evans from Riverstone Chop House this morning, making deviled crab dip and a dry-aged bone in ribeye. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Thank you. Good to have you Thank here. You. you never put your feet up on the coffee table. Oh, never. No, I would never, never do that. Never do that. Especially not here uh, in the kitchen, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, we're making some great dishes, and I know we wanted to start out with a lesson on meat. Mm -hmm. Well, these are the cuts that we offer at Riverstone. Um, I've got... First of all, we do the uh, Colorado lamb chops, and we do a beef tenderloin. Mm -hmm. That's our prior number one seller. Oh, yeah. That's a New York strip, 12 ounces. That's a, a porterhouse, 24 ounces, which wow. yeah, that's a lot of steak. That's and a, a lot of people meal. split that, yeah. And then that's the cut I'm going to be cooking today. That's the bone-in ribeye. We mm -hmm. age in-house for 28 days. Uh, Kansas City strip steak, which is a bone-in New York strip, and we cold smoke that in-house. So you get a little bit of that smoky quality after you after you grill it. You've got yeah. some great ingredients, and I know chefs will say that you have to start out with great ingredients to Absolutely. get a great meal. Uh, you're going to give us some secrets, some tips on how you make um, a great meat dish. And that, it starts off with your pan, doesn't it? Yeah, well, either a hot grill or a mm -hmm. hot pan. This but you is, have cast iron. This is a cast iron skillet, yeah. And it's, as you can see, it's pretty pretty hot right yeah, now. Yeah, smoking. And um, it's been preheating for about five minutes. And... Preferably, if you could take your meat out about 30 minutes before you grill it, just to kind of knock the chill off really? of it. Yeah, it just makes for a little even cooking. Really? You don't worry about yeah. bacteria or anything? Uh, not it's, at all. I mean, unless it sits out for a day, you're, I think you're fine. You're pretty yeah. much okay. Yeah, but it's cast iron. <laughs> don't put it on the coffee table, yeah. exactly. Is there a reason, though, you use and the cast iron over anything else? Um, it, it holds the heat better, oh, I think. Okay. Um, you know, in you, less stickage, as long as you use plenty of oil you're not going to get that that sticking very nice and um I'm, i got some salt and pepper it's real real simple I, mm -hmm. pretty generous with the salt and pepper mm -hmm. um as you can see because you have it's a thick steak so it's got to go all the way through and you're going to pat that in there yeah you got to kind of just press it in there pepper generous too because pepper goes so well with steak mm -hmm. here i'll help you with the pepper oh thank you so you're going to do that and you're using a different type of oil that we don't normally use um, here in the just, kitchen yeah just a little bit of peanut oil um mm -hmm. you know i like Extra virgin olive oil, but if you're cooking it at such high heats, it's it doesn't uh, really. I mean, it's got a higher, it's got a lower smoking point. So good to know. So you're pouring that over the heat. Yeah. Away from the heat. Away from probably the heat. Probably a good yeah. idea. <laughs> and you don't need a tremendous amount of oil with this ribeye because mm -hmm. it does have quite a bit of fat in it. But um, there you go. That's the sound you want to hear. That's, sure. You want to hear that. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to turn it up just a little bit. I don't want to smoke the whole studio out, so. I've, I didn't do it as hot as we probably do at the restaurant. Um, at the restaurant, we do this. We have this infrared broiler that we that we stick the steaks in. And it's Something to check out. For, yeah. So for folks eating and dining, can they kind of watch that happen? Um, no, not so much. It's not one of those open. It's kitchens. not an open kitchen, no. but if they want to tour of the kitchen anytime, it's fine. Really, yeah, you absolutely. just opened up your kitchen there. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so this goes both sides. Uh, both sides. Heat on both sides, and I know you're going to edit up in the oven. Yeah, we're going to finish it in the oven. It just I don't think. Without burning the steak, I don't think you could finish it on top of the stove unless you wanted it really rare. Okay. Then you can certainly do that. All right, very good. But, um, so we'll we'll do this. Okay. Have you work on that and then right. put it in uh, in the oven. And then our next step is what? What will we? Uh, we're going to do on a deviled crab dip, and it's mm. it's uh, probably one of our most popular appetizers at Riverstone. And uh, it's basically uh, we got fresh cream cheese here, some mayo, a little Parmesan, cayenne, Old Bay, mustard powder, sherry and Tabasco. Very nice. And lots of jambalant crab meat. So all this is going to be combined, gently folded in, and we pack, at the restaurant we use these little stob dishes that we... Look at that, they're so cute. Yeah, they're really cool. And look and then, at this, a little, like, like little baby pot yeah. right here. We'll talk about that and put all yeah. of this uh, together coming up in our next thing segment. Chef, thanks very much. Thank you. Riverstone Chop House in Suffolk this morning, making deviled crab dip and a dry-aged bone-in ribeye. The meat is in the oven, it cooking is. nicely. Oh, yeah. And now nice. we're ready to do our dip. Our deviled crab dip. This is far and away our best-selling appetizer. People love it, and rightfully so. It's, it's good cold, it's good hot, but um, we serve it hot mm -hmm. um, with some focaccia that yeah. our pastry chef... Yeah. John Dagan, I think you have to take a look at this. Yeah, so you made this actually before you sleeve. came here, and then you we brushed did. it with some... We brushed it with some butter and, and toasted it in the oven. So you get that nice... Can't wait. Butter. Oh, it's good. With the butter, you know, the butter and the crab go so well together. And, um, but usually what we do, we we make it in a much larger batch at the restaurant, of course. You know, three or four pound batches. I believe it, because you uh, churn out quite a bit of it. We do, we do. Uh, this is fresh cream cheese. Okay. Um, Scoop that in here. A, yeah, it's about eight ounces of fresh cream cheese. Very nice. And... Um, 
People in our um, audience, by the way, are talking about your restaurant okay, and how good. much they love it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, where are and, you um, located for folks who don't know? Um, we are uh, exit 9A, College Drive, mm -hmm. in uh, Suffolk. Right off of 664 in Suffolk, North Suffolk. Um, and our sister restaurant, Vintage Tavern, is mm -hmm. right down the street, about 10 minutes away. So. Yeah, we've had them on the show before. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, they do a great job. Uh, this is a little mayo, about a cup or so of, uh, of mayonnaise. Uh, the cream cheese uh, should be room temperature. That probably isn't as... That means we'll have to do a little bit be, yeah. of work later. Oh, we'll make it work. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this is uh, Parmigiano, Reggiano, just the good stuff. Am I mixing it I, while we're doing that? Yeah. I can? Okay. Yeah. Kind of fold it together? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, you, you got to kind of mash it. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Um, and then some diced onion. I'd say probably about a half of a small onion is, is perfect here. I'll just probably add about that much. It's plenty. Now, will this be heated? Like you're going to cook it will, this yeah, and then... And what we do is we mix it ahead of time, everything, mm -hmm. with crab meat and everything, and then we chill it. I see. And then when an order comes in, we'll, we'll put it in the oven. And then here comes the, the, uh, the deviled part. A little bit of ground mustard. Nice. And some cayenne. It's another part of the deviled. This is really an opportunity to learn one of your secret dishes, too. Yeah, this it is. This is something that uh, is. obviously no, you serve a lot of. <laughs> a little bit of All Old right. Bay, because Old Bay and Crab is a kind of a They classic. go hand in hand. They do. And in any case, the recipe will be online yes, at the Hampton be. Road Show .com. So you're giving up um, some secrets. A couple shots of Tabasco. Very nice. Some good flavor. And uh, some sherry here. We use a good uh, Spanish sherry. Uh, I'd say about a tablespoon of that. And that with the crab also mm -hmm. is a great combination. It's almost like, you know, she crab soup always has that wow. little bit of sherry in there. Yeah, this is good. It's like decadent stuff here on the yeah. Hampton Road Show this morning, but it's all yeah, good. it is. It's just a moderation. It moderate. comes together really nicely, too. It does. Yeah, that fresh cream cheese that we use is, uh, I think, is the key here. And uh, then we have some tarragon. You can use dill. At the restaurant, we use dill or sometimes tarragon, mm -hmm. but uh, both herbs are nice. Parsley works. Mm -hmm. uh, in the summer, maybe uh, maybe basil would be nice, okay. too. So once this goes in, um, what else comes in? We're unfortunately um, running out of time. Okay, so. all right. We'll, we'll do some crab meat, then. This, this is the, the main event here. This is jumbo lump crab meat. It's a pound for all that, so right. it's very crabby. <laughs> I think people will not complain for yeah. sure. And I know Make from sure doing, doing this before, don't too much. Like, don't yeah, stir it too exactly. much. Just kind of fold it in. Yeah, exactly. You want to break All right. So we are unfortunately fold. running out of time, That's but we okay, will come back, up. finish this up, talk about this, bring out the steak, okay. and talk more about the restaurant in our next segment. Sounds good. Thank Jeff, you. Thank you. <laughs> Finishing up, two wonderful dishes with Pete Evans from Riverstone Shop House in Suffolk. These are like, they, they look like little doll dishes. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. This is a little cast iron dish it is. that you serve uh, the dip in. You can um, bake it in any casserole dish at, at home, though, that you have. Yeah, but this is so cute. Yeah. You uh, pulled the steak out of the oven. I did, and I let it rest for uh, at least five, ten minutes, mm -hmm. because if you were to slice it right out of the oven, it would juices would just bleed all over your cutting oh, board. Yeah. So you let it rest, uh, let the juices come back to the center, and um, should be a nice medium rare to mm -hmm. medium. How can you and, tell um, that? Um, I mean, I'm just, just like, just, you, yeah. For you, it's experience. Right, but you wanna, if you want to um, probe it with a thermometer, I think, I think like 120, 125 for medium rare mm -hmm. would be perfect. And uh, we're just going to slice it so everyone can. Uh, ah, that looks good. Yeah. And that's how you serve it with, um, with the meal? We do, well, we won't slice it unless someone, unless the table's sharing it. Okay. But in other words, we just we just um, put it right on the plate, the whole steak right on the plate. Really nice. Now you've got a finished dip right here. And I, I do. And uh, per your orders, I put some crab dip here in the in the little pot. How do you finish this off? Uh, what we do is we have a little um, bread, Japanese breadcrumbs right there. Oh, right here. That we've uh, tossed with uh, butter and a little bit of paprika, mm -hmm. and we sprinkle it right over the crab dip. Right. And then we'll. Throw that in the oven again, just so the breadcrumbs get nice and crispy. Oh, there it and, is. And uh, that's what we have right here. That is and great. And it comes to the table with the, with the lid. And um, then we, of course, serve it with our, our focaccia, homemade focaccia mm -hmm. toast. Lots and of folks in our audience saying they can't it. wait to taste it. Yeah. So uh, we're definitely going to share. Now, you had a busy weekend the past weekend. We so did. you're probably recuperating still from Valentine's bit. Day. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, I know you've got to gear up for the next thing over at the restaurant. What's going on? Well, we have uh, restaurant week come up in March. Very good. Yeah, Very that's good. always exciting. Um, it, it, it's a chance for people to come mm -hmm. to the restaurant that normally wouldn't. Yeah. You know, we, that's always a real busy week for us. So do you come up with new menus for that week um, in particular? It's a little more condensed, but it's all, it's never, the quality is never sacrificed. I mean, it's a little bit condensed because we're, we are doing the volume right. and, 
you know, the quality is still the same. It's just, you know, we, we but we still offer the same yeah. dishes. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. for that coming up. Now, where yeah. are folks, where can folks find you? Because you've got a sister restaurant in Suffolk mm -hmm. and you're not too far from that location. Well, where can folks find you? Uh, we're right off of 664. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's exit 9A. Right. College Drive. I know, you just drive and, it. So you're uh, not sure of the exit. You yeah, just I just, driving. I'm you know on to get to work. autopilot when I'm driving to work. But, um, I mean, it's it's in North Suffolk, but it takes you know from downtown Norfolk. I'd say it takes 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Um, it's not that far, not as far as some people think. Well, very good. You know, um, yeah. This is going to be done. We we'll make probably a couple more for okay. the folks here in the studio. Yeah. A great dish, uh, the steak and the dip. The recipe again will be online okay. at thehamptonroadshow.com. Chef, right. thank you very much. Well, We're going to taste you. test it before the end of the show. Okay.